This is your friend Zach from Two Master Tools. First, you choose a color that you want uh, to beam on your photo. I've chosen this blue color. And then you choose the size of your brush. I have chosen a pretty small, it could be even smaller than that. And then you choose the hardness down to zero. All right, and once you have done that, you click over here to create a new layer. And uh, that is because we don't want to draw directly on this layer because we cannot we cannot manipulate that afterwards. So we're going to draw directly on this layer, which is the new one. So what you want to do is click on this new layer and press control T and you want to expand this, uh, this brush that we just applied to the photo. So she's looking this way. You want to look like the light is beaming from up to down to where she's looking directly and we're gonna expand this uh, brush stroke see how over here it's just beaming on her but it doesn't look like a brush but over here it's uh, it's very solid so we want to avoid that we're gonna hide that back here so we're gonna expand this so only this is beaming on her it looks all uh, it's been pixelated but that's not how it's gonna be once we apply it so we're going to make it a little bigger until it's uh, beaming on her face over here a little bit. But we're going to use another tool to finalize this. So we're going to stick with this for now. We're going to apply transformation. And then uh, there's a really neat tool over here in the adjustment tab go down to color and balance or you can find it in in the image scroll down to adjustments and color balance i like the one over here if you see there's a difference over here it looks very bland but over here it looks neat you could just adjust it over here so there's three tones the shadows midtones and the highlights so basically what you want to do is um you want to create as much of of this color as you can so you see the red, green, blue, yellow, magenta, magenta, whatever, however you say it, and the cyan. So we're going to move the midtones down to the blue side a little bit. And if you see, it turns into a dark blue, so we don't want that too much. want to move a little cyan. Cyan, I like, it, I like it a lot because it looks like a, uh, a nice light ray. And then we're going to move on to the shadow. Blue again. And then the cyan to make the light stick out. Then uh, my favorite one actually besides the cyan is the green. The green color really makes uh, everything pop. It's too much green then you make a little more blue to match the color of the light. And then finally we move down to the highlights. Make a little cyan to make the light stick out and then we want to match it with the blue color to match with the blue and now the black is uh matched up with the with the ray that we have over there so one thing i don't like here is that this over here it's uh it's too much of a solid color so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move it back a bit like this to make it look like more natural of a light so now i'm gonna move on to the second example i have here is a cute uh, was named picture of a baby possibly with the father so here's another shade of blue we have here and we're gonna go ahead and create another layer choose a brush we just make sure that you apply this on the new layer not on the not on the background because we because we are gonna expand it so we're going to press Control T to expand it. We're going to make sure that it's really big. As we said before, I don't want this middle uh, in the picture. I want the sides as much as possible. So in this picture, they are looking from straight directly. So that's what we're going to do. We want to make sure this brush is hovered over the face a little bit. And then we are going to apply. Again, we're going to go to the adjustment tab, color balance. We're going to try to mimic this color here. 
shadows, midtones, and highlights, which can leave it at midtones. So the cyan, but one thing is too green. It doesn't match up with this. I make it look natural, most natural as possible. So that's that. Highlights. It's gonna be green, a little cyan. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the green in a second. See the green that makes it more of a natural light. Then we're gonna add a little blue. Then once again, this is too much of a, of a solid color. We're gonna click on the layer of the brush, move it back. Makes it look more natural, doesn't it? Well, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed my video. Please subscribe and rate.